Hey, what's up, guys? Well, the wife and I, we went down to Myrtle Beach this weekend to meet up with one of my good buddies, Flo. And while we were down there, we stopped at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. And they had some pretty good sales going on. And I picked up, um, they call Flats Predator Waiting Boots by um, Forever Last. You guys can see that. But um, I got tired of using my Swamp Boots. Cause there's a thousand grain insulate, so I decided to go with these ones because it gets really hot out here, especially down in South Carolina. It gets very humid, and the other day when I went hog hunting, it got really hot, and I was wearing my snake guards with it, and it's just very uncomfortable. So I decided to go with these versatile strain and drain hole system to eliminate rock and grit from entering your boots while letting the water out and whatnot. And I'll, and I'll pull them out to show you how they look like when I get a better view of them. So they're not bad. I mean, I put them on and wore them, and they're actually really comfortable. They just feel like I'm wearing tennis shoes. So I'm gonna put these on, then I'm gonna put my snake guards over it, and I'm gonna try it out today. I'm gonna go out, pull that camera that I put out the other day, to see if I get any hogs from my grandpa. I'm gonna pull those out, and hopefully there are hogs still running around there, because I know I took one out the other day. So hopefully those pigs come back. But uh, I'm gonna do, you know, a quick review of these when I get back. Let you guys know how they went. Pretty sure they're gonna do really great. So, I'll see you guys out in the field. Yeah, we just got here. Trying out my new boots.
originally sell for 80 some dollars, but I got them on sale, so go get yourself a pair. What are we seeing, babe? So, what Jesse just said is you can smell them, which you can't. You can smell them in here, just a matter of waiting them out, but um, we don't have time. So. Yeah, it's really good. The last spot we put the trail camera was on bus. And um, I don't know if we'll go back there with my grandpa, but this spot seems pretty legit still. I mean, every time I've come here, I killed my, I killed my first hog here. With little dude, he shot a pretty big sow in here with a whole bunch of piglets with her. And uh, Jesse and I come back out here three months later, and those little piglets are now somewhat grown up, and they just happen to be in this field. And I was able to take one out. So this place produces just a matter of time. So we just got done checking out a field that is freshly planted. And we had about how many deer do you think was in there? Six. I counted six. Six deer. I thought I was I thought it was only five, but I guess there were six in there. So how'd you think the day went, babe? It went good. It's uh, funny how you can see a bunch of tracks and then a huge gap. And it seems like they disappear, but it went good. There's obviously something in here. And hopefully I'll get some in a week. Exactly. So we're still hunting hard. Go back to work in a week or so. We're still on it, trying to get her first pig. I mean, deer sees coming right around, around the corner, so we're gonna get her something this year. It's just a matter of time. Stay tuned, there's gonna be more episodes coming up. My grandpa's coming out here in a few days. And we're gonna come back out here to Fort Stewart and try to get him one. So stay safe, keep hunting, or fishing. And a little dude gets back tomorrow from California. So I'll probably take him fishing on Thursday, so you can wait on the video for that one. So we'll see you guys next time. Say bye. Bye, y'all.